Hello everybody, this is Darian with another How to Draw tutorial. Welcome to my channel, The Restart Life. And if you haven't seen any of my videos, I do a lot of how to draw videos, kind of tutorials on how to draw some characters or some kind of prompts to get you in the mood to draw. So I'm excited for this character today because we're going to be learning a new concept maybe that you've never used before. The character I chose today is the Inkling from the game Splatoon. That's on the Wii U and the Nintendo Switch. And this game series has been really popular. It's a really fun game too. I'm a big gamer, but that's not the complete reason why we are drawing this character today. So I thought it'd be kind of appropriate we're going to draw the inkling today, that we learn how to do inking. Now the concept of inking in drawing is not trying to cover the ground with ink like in Splatoon, but using your pencil, sketching out your drawing lightly, and then going over your drawing with all the best lines, instead of just using the tip of your pencil making it nice and dark, you use a special pen to trace over those lines, and then you use a kneaded eraser, which I'm actually not going to be using in my video today. I don't own one at the moment. And then you erase everything over your drawing so it doesn't erase the pen lines. That's the great thing about kneaded erasers, it only er erases the pencil. So then you just brush everything off and you're left with a solid drawing, an inked drawing on your paper. So. I'm excited to draw this character today, so I'm gonna put them on the screen right now. This is the Inkling Girl from the game Splatoon once again. And it's a very simple drawing, not too much to it, but it's just pretty much the start to learn the concept of inking if you've never done it before. And while we're drawing, I'll make sure to talk a little bit more about the game if you're not familiar with it. So let's start as we usually do with our circle. So we're going to make this character a little bit bigger because, well, we, it's, there's not much to her. So we're going to make it a little bit bigger on our paper. We're going to make the first circle and the very first thing we're going to do on our paper about the size as a tennis ball. Make sure to keep everything really light using that natural rotation in your shoulder to get the best circle that you can make. So I'm going to make mine about there on my paper. Just right in the middle is fine. Just about that big right there. Okay, why don't we actually start to just make the facial shape here so I'm just going to start sketching stuff and you can follow along with the already existing and finished artwork on the screen then I'm just going to connect it over here and then draw in this character's ear they're not quite elf ears But they're pretty large. And then I'm just going to draw the ear on the other side. Okay. Now let's start sketching in with our pencil. I'm pretty sure you can see everything okay. I hope so. Why don't we zoom in just for a little bit of clarity. There we go. <clears throat> so, with our pencil, we can start sketching in lightly the hair. Nice, kind of pointy, but also a little bit rounded, so don't make the lines too pointy. And this part is also part of the Inkling's hair. And that's going to stop. We're not going to see the bottom of it. And you can sketch in this side, too. Like that. Then we'll do the same thing on the right side. We're going to come over the ear here. So this character, Inkling Girl, also made it into the game Super Smash Bros, which has just recently been released. 
an amazing looking game. I don't own it. I don't own a Nintendo Switch. And I really don't... I really don't want one. Necessarily. Kind of takes up so... I have so much that I do in my life that I just... I don't have time to game. I've gamed for the very... For like four whole years of my life. Probably a lot more than that. But just four years straight, pretty much. So I think I've had my fill. Alright, so we just got a pretty light lines here. And pretty simple sketch of what the hair kind of looks like. And then we can do just the... This is kind of the underbelly of the squid arm hair. It's really cool how they use this kind of style. They turn the squid into... Uh, kind of like it's incorporated in all the fashion and it's just a really cool concept with the whole paint idea so the way that the game works is um, and you guys can keep sketching while I'm talking here uh, the way they get that the game works is it's kind of like a turf war where you and your buddies or whoever you're playing with online work together to try to cover the whole turf in that map with ink in the time slot that you have you have special abilities and you you also have like a special weapon so you can do like a paint splatter or like a paint roller and the object of the game is to cover as much of the turf in ink or color paint pretty much as possible but there's also team um opponents that you have to kind of defeat on the way and try to splat them with ink so as a as the squid you can actually transform into a squid and go into the paint that you put on the ground and you can move around really quickly so it's a pretty pretty fun game it's not like any game i've ever played and it's a lot of fun so the only thing i've done while i was talking is i added some lines here for the ears and then also a line up here for the hair and then we're pretty much done with that let's add a little circle here and then a littler one there. Okay. And now we are going to add these circles. They're going to be a little bit more of ovals. This one's going to be kind of looking right at us. And this one. This kind of looks a little bit weird, but we're going to edit the shape in just a minute. So from here, from this oval shape, we're going to make this into kind of it almost looks like a piece of ham like that christmas is around the corner so it reminds me of the grinch just a piece of ham and on the inside of the ham there's always that bone so we're going to add that bone there and that's going to be in this drawing the pupil of our inkling girl And there's actually no reflection in this drawing, which is very odd for most drawings. Now this one's going to come to a point a little bit more. And this one's going to be a little bit smaller. Like that. So it's going to cut off kind of the top there of the oval shape for the eye. And you can draw that one in like that and then let's draw this kind of eight shape it's the mask or i well i'm pretty sure that this is just the eyes of the squid but it looks like one of those masks from the incredibles or something like that so we're just going to it's pretty much an outline of everything and it's going to stop there and we'll draw the nose in in a second for our inkling girl that's nice and thick and then it gets thin here moderate weight and then we're gonna bring that around and then the nose there like that and then you can make edits to that i just kind of sketched it in like that so there's kind of like this knob for the nose here now let's do the mouth so the mouth is going to be like that so it's going to be almost a it's almost just a flat line, but it's a little bit curved, so it's more of a frown. 
that it starts out with. And then there's like this triangle here. And then we're going to bring that down, almost like a guitar pick. It's gonna look like that kind of shape or a scale or something like that. And then we're gonna do kind of like a smile here. And then we're gonna finish this shape. It's gonna be rounded here like that. So there's going to be a rounded shape here. Now this character also has kind of like fangs for teeth, the sharp teeth. So we're going to draw those in. And these aren't just like triangles. These are a little bit rounded. They're more like shark fins. And then there's one on the bottom. Like that. And then we're going to draw this kind of line here and we're going to use, we're going to shade that in like that. Okay. I mean, we're pretty, we're, we're moving along pretty quickly. I'm just going to darken this in for me. You don't need to darken this in because we're going to be inking over it. So, okay, let's do the neck. So the neck's going to come out like that. And the rest of it's pretty much going to be hidden behind, except for right there. And then the shoulder of the girl is going to come up like that. And down. Like this big hump here. Like a hill or like a camel hump. I'm just going to add that little detail there. And then the shirt's going to come up like a sleeve. Now this part is not in the drawing on the screen, but I'm gonna add it anyway, cause it's just gonna complete the shape of the sleeve. And I'll bring the hair down a little bit more. And don't worry, if your lines aren't perfect, you will be able to erase all of this. So I unfortunately will not, cause apparently I have no pencils in my house with an eraser on it right now. Go figure. And then we'll do this other sleeve here. And don't forget the arm, of course. And then this arm is going to fade off the screen. Now this is probably going to be the hardest part of the drawing. We can't avoid it this week because it's a prominent detail, but we're going to draw the hand. So I'm going to try to make this as easy as possible. So what we're going to do is we're kind of going to make this, this, it's like a hexagon, I believe, six-sided shape. We're going to make just a hexagon here. Correct me in the comments or in real life if I'm wrong. And then we're going to make the shape for the fingers on the top of that. So the one's going to come over the hair like that. And come around. And the second one's going to be up here. Like that. Like two bunny ears. Like that. Okay. So now we kind of already got the shapes there. Let's finish. That's going to come to about there. And then this part, we're going to do this kind of circular hump there. It's going to go up and then down like that. So i just use what little of eraser I have on this pencil to show you what I mean by that. Kind of like this hump there. That's going to come back out and then down like that. And then we can start drawing in the fingers. So the first finger is gonna be like that. Almost like a question mark, if you ask me. The second part of that finger is just gonna be a, almost like a frown. And then we're gonna draw the second finger. This is gonna be the thumb. Thumb's gonna come out like that and down. Just follow along with the drawing on the screen if you don't even know what I'm doing here. And then at the top, it's just going to be like this finger here. So it's not the best. As you all know, fingers are very hard to do. 
and hands. But that doesn't look too bad. And then we'll just bring it down like that. Okay, not too bad. So I'm just going to fix the hair a little bit since... I'm just gonna let it kind of flow off the screen like that. I guess if you can call a piece of paper a screen, then okay, Darian, nice. All right, a few more details. We'll just add a circle here and another dot there. Eyebrows, cannot forget those. Adds a lot of emotion. So we're just gonna add those. Those are kind of like really thin kind of leave leaf shapes like that. All right, well, it looks like we had a very simple task to draw today. I'm actually going to kind of extend this hair just a little bit more up. I feel like it needs to be a little bit fuller for my drawing. Now, if you see anything else that you wish to correct, now is the time to do it because you're gonna be inking everything in in just a few seconds. So make sure you make those major changes, things that you want to look a little bit better. Make sure you do those now. I think that this arm could be a little bit better in my drawing. I'm going to add the clothing thing there. I'm going to make my arm start there instead. That's all the changes that I think I need to make here, personally. Okay, now what the next part of the drawing, and there goes my pencil again, <laughs> is I want you to grab your ink pen. Like I said, it can be any pen. I'm using a Sharpie uh, pen. But you can use a calligraphy pen, you can use a, a ballpoint pen, but this is just the one that I chose to do today. Now remember, these lines are going to be permanent, you cannot erase them. Everything behind can be erased, so if you wish to make any more changes, do so now with your pencil, or forever hold your peace. But I'm going to start now to ink in my drawing. I'm actually, you know what, before I do that, I realize, and this is good that I'm doing this, that this is maybe out a little too far, so I'm just going to edit the face a little bit, like that. And then all this is just going to get inked over, so that'll be the first thing that I'm going to do. So I'm going to take that, and just ink over that, and then you can just start inking your drawing. Just tracing over all the very best lines, things that you want to keep. And then all your eraser marks, or, or all your drawing marks, your light pencil lines are just kind of going to fall away. Remember, um, I can't remember if I said this before, but the hair is pointy but not sharp looking. Not too sharp looking. So these characters are very squishy. Okay. I can't wait to see how this turns out. So why don't you just... Um, start the drawing off when you're inking it. Start just doing the simple line, and then you can add a thickness to the line afterwards. Then you'll just go back through and add a thickness. Because these lines are pretty thin to start out with. That, that looks good. Let's do the ear. I'm 
I'm gonna do a little editing to this just for the sake of the drawing. I'm gonna do that and do this here like that. Looks like I did mine a little bit different than the example that we had to go by. Okay. And now I'm going to do the sleeve. Well, it looks like the lines are just kind of fading away here. All right, I'm going to ink this section very cautiously, keeping only the lines that I really want to keep. Using the drawing as my example. I like that. It turned out good. Okay, fingers. Like that. Okay, I love that. <laughs> I'm going to keep that. I'm going to add this extra line here that I didn't realize was there. And I'm going to add one here, too. Okay, now we can start inking in the face. This is going to be a crucial detail, so do it with extra caution. I want to get this nose right. Hope I did, because I can't go back now. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. I like that. Okay, now the eyes. And don't forget to ink in the pupil as well, because those <laughs> are, when you use your kneaded eraser, those are just going to disappear, and then you're going to have a blank, possessed-looking inkling. Okay, and then we'll do the dots here. And then now we're going to do this. Now this little circle here, we're not going to complete the circle. So just watch me and then follow along. So I'm going to do it just nice and thin. We're not going to make this line thick at all. It's just going to kind of be like that. Not a full circle. Just kind of following those lines right there that we had for the circle. Perfect. Okay. Um, so... Now I guess what you could do is, let's see, find any more details that you might have missed or that you want to maybe change. And then I'm going to start thickening in all the lines that I want to be nice and thick. So the hair, you want that to kind of stand out. So I'm going to thicken in the lines for the hair. And I won't take too long with this in my drawing because I want to keep this video under 30 minutes. And... You know what's going to be easier is I also have a Sharpie thin tip marker. This is very similar. I'm just going to use that. I like to use these when I do like chibi. I like to use this marker for that because it's, it's a little bit more firm. It's not like it doesn't glide as much. So you get a little bit more control, but you can't do like pointy edges as well with this. It's not as thin. So there's ups and downs to it as well. So 
yeah, I'm just, right now I'm just making all the hair lines pretty thick. It's not too thick. And don't forget at the top here, just keep that nice and thin. So just bring it into about there and just keep that nice and thin. And then you can make these nice and thick. And I'm not gonna do that line, I'm just gonna do the bottom. Like that. And then I'll do this one here. I'm gonna skip this part. that it also helps with kind of doing shadows and getting the thickness for makes it look a little bit more 3d especially when you skip some like this it kind of gives it a, a layering effect that and then i'm gonna do this here i forgot that that's kind of like the inside of the sleeve and i'm gonna do a nice thick line for the sleeve there and then this side of the sleeve as well and then under the thumb under this finger um, we'll do this one as well and we'll do the right side of the hand right bottom and left bottom like that and now let's do the bottom of the kind of chin and the face of our inkling girl now if you can tell this doesn't necessarily look like a girl there's no eyelashes but um the outfit is definitely a girl you can't see the outfit right now um and they're pretty tomboyish. I mean, their outfits are pretty like punky, but overall, like they're they do they do have pretty cute outfits. But their faces are a little bit more tomboyish. Now there is some that have like really girly eyes and stuff, um, but this specific like the main inkling girl does not. She's a little bit more of a tomboy personality, so nothing wrong with that. I'm just going to do that shadow line there, too. And then I'll do one here as well. Okay, what was the other detail? Oh, yeah. Even if you have a thicker marker, you can do it with this. But I'm just going to do it with my thin one. we got to fill in the mask. The eyes of our inkling. It's a pretty crucial detail. It's kind of going to mold our drawing together, one of the final steps. I just love how the lines just disappeared. You can't really see it. All the, all the black lines pretty much stand out the most. And of course, now would be the time once you're done sketching in um, and then sh doing all this inking, then you can go back with your kneaded eraser and maybe even a regular eraser would work, but I would honestly swing for the kneaded eraser because those are made to erase underneath the ink and will not smudge your ink. So that's probably the best option if you have it. And then I would just erase every one of the pencil lines until all you have left is a clean looking inkling drawing. So if I zoom out a little bit, if my phone will let me, there we go. It looks pretty darn awesome. It doesn't look like there's too much inking and it's pretty cool to see kind of like all the sketch lines too. Something I love. So make sure you sign your drawing I'm going to just sign that with this little pen here. And I really thank you for drawing with me today. Make sure you check out some of my other drawing videos. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for drawing Inkling with me. Bye-bye.